Hello, welcome back to AG Engineering by MADE and a uh, little project for today. I've got a pair of, um, I believe they're called billet thug yokes from um, a special frame that's been, um, been used for a, a Norton project actually. Um, I think originally the Yamaha FZ1000 or R6 or something like that yokes um, and originally they would have had two different uh, size taper rollers top and bottom uh, but this frame has got uh, both the same size taper roller so that's correct for in the frame but obviously nowhere near from the on the yoke there so um, the task is to make a spacer sleeve, a little top hat spacer sleeve to go over there to, uh, to centralise that correctly. And also the thread here ends up, um, I believe, too far up so that you can't tighten the, uh, the top nut down. There's probably supposed to be at the bottom here uh, a a seal or something but what we've come up with is uh, a small spacer under this bottom bearing to raise that uh, to raise that bearing up by about eight millimeters and that should give him with a couple of little washers the correct setting for that um, that thread part there I've also got a, a die on the way if I need, do need to recut that a little bit further down it's um, M25 by a 1mm pitch, I think it was. Um, this is an alloy stem that looks like it's been pressed in probably from the, from the bottom there. And uh, I wouldn't like to have to take it out and try and pick up that thread again on the lathe. So uh, if we have to, we'll run a, the thread a little bit further down. But I think for now a spacer for the bottom there and a spacer for inside that bearing there should uh, suffice as to what we want to do so um, I'll get set up on the on the lathe I'll find some material probably a little bit of aluminium um, and uh, we'll see what we can make so uh, back in a moment at the uh, at the lathe see you there Got the um, the piece of bar stock set up in the four jaw, um, running true. And we're going to face it off. It's been uh, used for something previous there. So just do a bit of that. skim the outside a little bit. That diameter is about right for what we need.
to apply themselves to work. Need about 30 mil of material. I'll go to about 40. Probably 50 actually gives a clear looks at the back for the Damage, bit of a chipped edge there. There's two spirals coming out of uh, this one side. Just keep pecking at it to break the chips. Brand new drill bit in there. Okay, that's us to 22 mil. We'll set up for boring. Twenty five point zero two should do it. I'm just going to check the um, the yoke, see if I can uh, test the stem in there. Okay, I need to set this OD down to uh, thirty mil to slide into the bearing, and I want to leave a little step, a little step as well, just to uh, to stop it. Going past the uh, past the bearing and into the stem. If I make the up to the inside of the shoulder about 16 mil, that should be fine. There's another step on the um, the yoke as well that I've got to be cautious of uh, hitting. So uh, we'll go for a six, yeah, 16 mil. Maybe 17, 16, I'll make it 16, little step, so uh, 14 there.
Beautiful. Okay. And I'll just clean that off there. And we'll take a little bit off the OD. And then uh, part it off at that, and that should give us a little top hat spider. Okay. Should be about right. Well. 17 and take a little bit off the edge of it as well if need be. This size here isn't critical. I'll not be able to get this lathe to port off quietly. It's something I've got to work on, I'm not very good at. It's uh, horrendously noisy. You know what, that's not a bad finish there. That, I think, with a little with a little deeper on the inside things that will do so I'll just go and check it on the uh, on the steering stem so there's a stem That's a nice sliding fit over there. That should be a nice push fit into that bearing. It's square. In fact, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, a little bit of lubricant around that, just so we don't get it. Uh, it's stuck in there. Go. Give it a get it. That's it, nice and square. There we go. That's clicked on. Lovely. Just a little bit of clearance at the back there. And that. Just sliding fit on there. Okay, next stage is to uh, do the spacer for that bottom section there. So uh, while well, that piece of aluminium's in the uh, in the lathe, we'll go. Uh, so we'll just face off again. Get rid of that bit. Just on uh, eight millimeters there, so
good uh, good chamfer on, on the inside there. And we should be it around the eight millimeters mark. Eight point zero two. And there's our uh, there's our yoke. There's our original spacer that was underneath the bearing. Um, our new ones another eight millimeters. I could have made this in in two pieces actually, but if that one goes on first. And then that one, we've got a little gap under there to get a puller under for uh, for removing the bearing if need be. And we've also got the option, if that's too much, we'll take that one out and just put that one in if we have to. So we'll leave that at that. our new bearing on the bottom there and a bearing with the spacer in on the top that's it that's that one done um, I can nip up to uh, to my mates and take this back to him tomorrow um, we've got to go shopping and it's sort of uh, almost on the way so uh, there we have it another one done and uh, hope you enjoyed that little uh, that little series that little one there and uh, we'll see you uh, see you on the next one thanks for watching bye for now